Alright kids and queens and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be finally doing a video I wanted to do for so long, but I wanted to wait until I got more tattoos, so I felt complete for this stage, because there are there will be more soon. So. In this video, I am going to be telling you guys about my tattoos, how much they cost, the pain level, and what they mean. So if you guys don't remember or haven't been following me for that long, my first tattoo is these roses. Here's a little tour for you. I got this tattoo last June, um, right after I graduated high school. It was my first tattoo. I was so nervous, but I knew I always wanted roses. And when I was younger, I wanted them here. But I'm glad I got them on my shoulder because it just completes me. They cost around 120, I think it was 100 or 120. But the lady who does my tattoo, she's done all my tattoos, shout out Grand. They always have a down payment of $25. So it might've been a little bit cheaper than that. But as far as I know, it was 100 or 120. I have notes here so I can remember what I need to say <laughs> as far as the pain level for certain parts this lower part here that's on my arm was about a four out of ten probably this upper half here was probably like a six out of ten i guess like the heart like the more it's on your bone it hurts more and then this back part here like these this part up here and my collarbone here this was like a 8.5 out of 10 like i guess it's your first tattoo you don't expect anything so i was watching um a movie on the screen and i was just like <sighs> but like i said check out the vlog i'll link it up in the i card and you guys can check that out because that was such a fun experience and that's when i knew i needed more but in that moment i was like this is gonna be my only one i'm done so the meaning of this tattoo um there's not really a deep rooted meaning i just like i said i always wanted roses and i just wanted the jewelry to add because it really makes it look makes it you know it really adds to it and I got it from Pinterest so I didn't really have a certain look that I really really wanted she just took it and went with it and I love it so my second tattoo visit I got two tattoos uh, the first one I got was this three right here on my wrist I think it was $25 the pain was a 7 out of 10 because it is on this bone right here um, and the meaning is Chance the Rapper ah! If you guys don't know, he is my favorite artist. He's from my hometown, Chicago. He does so much for his community and I just love his music. I love his relationship with God. And I just love how he treats his family, his fans, everything about him. The fact I got to meet him a few weeks ago, check out this clip. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Period. Literally, I went to his movie. It was so good. Like, I just love, I love Chance. But people were like, why would you get a tattoo by a rapper? Uh, it's more than that. Chance's meaning for his three is the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it's also was for him, his wife, Kirsten, and his first daughter, Kinsley. Now he has another daughter. But that was the original meaning. Three was always like his number. I really wanted a cross tattoo back in the day, but everyone gets crosses. So I thought, why not get a three that symbolizes the same thing as a cross? So that's the meaning of this tattoo. Shout out Chance, love you babe. Then I got this tattoo, I can't really see if you can tell, but it says feminist. And I got this one the same day um, as I got the three, I got it after. I think it was also 25, cause I remember this being like 50 together, but then again, that could be with the down payment. So it could have been like 70 something, I don't really remember. Um, the pain was a 10 out of 10, cause it's right where you bend your arm. And they said anywhere where you get a tattoo where there's a bend. Here, your knee, your ankle, it's gonna be a little sore. Just ignore my sock. I was treading, treading through you outside. Um, I went outside in my socks and I was treading. So ignore my socks. They usually don't look like that unless I'm treading. See, super clean, ignore my socks. And I remember her starting backwards. She worked from the T to the F and I remember just being like, oh. And she was like, we're done with the M, we're done with the N. And I actually wanted it to say feminist with a period at the end, but it hurt so bad. We didn't even get to that part. So maybe I'll come back and just get the little zzz. I was born on National Women's Day. I love anything that has to do with supporting women. Um, anytime someone says anything that is not socially ethical to me, I start battling. If y'all know me, y'all already know that's how I am. Then my third uh, tattoo visit was actually this year. Oh, also I got these last year in like July before I went away to college. My third tattoo visit was my birthday weekend this year. Um, it was in March and I got two tattoos. I first got this elephant. It was around 50 to $60, maybe 70. I 
can't remember like I said. The pain was like a 4 or 5 out of 10. It wasn't even that bad because these this outer shell doesn't really hurt. Um, it did hurt a little bit when she came towards this part because this is where the inside of your arm is and this one's very sensitive. But it didn't really hurt. And the meaning, I've loved elephants since I was younger. I've always been drawn to them. My godmother had them all over her table in her house and she had paintings and I just love seeing them. I don't know, I've just always been drawn to elephant and getting older and learning their meanings is wisdom. It was just something that I knew I really wanted. And then um, people always are confused of what it is because it is, it isn't a regular elephant. It is a line tattoo, a line drawing. And I love line drawing is one of my favorite forms of art because if you don't know what it is you basically put your pencil down and you draw something without picking your pencil up until the piece is finished and I feel like that's symbolical to my life because I'm very determined and I never want to pick up my pencil until I'm done with my masterpiece <laughs> pencil. hush and then my last and final tattoo as of now are these hands. I think this was like 30, 40, I think it was $40. The pain was a six out of 10 because it is on my back. Um, I actually wrote down the meaning of this. I already know the meaning, but I wanted to make sure I didn't stumble when I talked about it. The day I'm filming this is Cameron Boyce's birthday. Happy birthday, boo. He would have been 22 today. Um, And this tattoo is for you. So this tattoo is the Wilding Peace logo. And if you don't know what Wilding Peace is, um, Cameron Boyce was one of my favorite childhood role models. And his passing in 2019 weighed so heavy on my heart. Prior to his death, when his family and team released his secret project, I knew I had to be a part of it. Wilding Peace is a non-for-profit organization that works to end gun violence in the world. And this is the logo. So um, I will forever wield peace for Cam. Shout out to Sydney. Well guys, that is my tattoo tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you wanna know my favorite tattoo or least favorite, cause a lot of people ask me that too. Um, I don't really have a least favorite cause if I didn't like it, it wouldn't be on me. But my favorite at first was this one. But as I gotten my new ones, it's definitely the one for Cameron. Cause this one's the one with the most deep rooted meaning. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, become a king or a queen. Also turn on your post notifications so you get a shout out whenever I post a new video. And in the next video, I will have a post notification shout out for who whoever comment down below that they turned theirs on in this video. That was a lot for me to say. Good job, C, for saying that. You're welcome, C, no problem. Follow my Instagram at Sierra Andrea. I just changed my aesthetic and I am loving it and there are more pictures to come, so follow me out there. Also, follow me on TikTok at Sierra Andrea. New TikToks on the way as well. It's Liddy. I'm home now. Woo! I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!